So just a quick look at my system um, that I said I was going to be building. Uh, originally this was going to be a, a deep water culture system but instead I decided to um, change up and turn it into an um, ebb and flow hydroponic system or flood and drain it's quite commonly known as as well. Um, I'm not sure if you, many of you know about the system but if you do hydroponics you more than likely do. But the concepts are fairly simple. First of all down the bottom there you have your reservoir and I've got those uh, 45 litre, I mean 55 litre reservoir there and that houses a, a water pump and also can be an air stone but I haven't got that in there at the moment. On the top here we have the um, an IKEA tray which is your flood table. At the moment I've got just some lettuce and tomatoes in there. This was just a um, a cheap tub from Ikea, Samler range I think it is. Uh, I've got them under just a CFL fixture that I've made myself. Um, my pump is due to come on in a minute so I will show you that when it starts. But the basic concept is from that fitting there it floods and it will rise all the way until it gets to the top of that um, overflow hose there and that will be just enough to submerge the roots and soak the roots for um, about half hour at a time I have mine on. For every three hours I fill it up for half hour and then once it's got to the top with the overflow it won't flow any higher uh, than it goes with that tubing and then once the pump shuts off after half hour the water will flow straight back down through that hole which is where it came through the pump and then straight back into the bucket. Uh, when it overflows and the water goes down that will make it bubble up in there so it adds aeration um, so that's pretty good. Um, at the moment I've got just some iceberg lettuce there and then um, there's hundreds and thousands micro tomato there then another lettuce there so I'll just zoom out now and um, I'll just get this running now and I'll take you off the tripod and give you a little bit more of an in-depth look at the system this has just started filling up now so take you off the tripod, give you a bit of a closer look at what's happening. So at the moment this is filling up from the reservoir below and this all in all will take about 10 minutes to fill the bucket up completely and then when it gets to the top um, it will get to that water level at the top of there and then it will just drain straight back down. So it's pretty full, uh, full proof, you can't really go too wrong as in terms of flooding other than if you have too much water in here and not a big enough reservoir uh, it's pretty dark under here so I can't really show you too much but uh, there's the water pump which is a microjet 450 which is 450 litres per hour and that goes up uh, through a hose pipe and through a hose connector and then there is the overflow which will just spill straight back down into there and as that goes down this will uh, aerate this water up but also on secondly I could um, put an air pump and an air stone in there then you get a bit of a hybrid of like deep water culture and um, uh, ebb and flow hydroponics so that's just slowly filling up now the water level will get to about there and then it will stop so it reaches just underneath the net pot there and then it will flood back down this, where I've got it in, is just hydrogen clay pebbles and these are really good for holding water and the roots literally just grow completely uh, in these little stones they're pretty lightweight stones so they don't really weigh too much alternate methods, what you can do is you can fill this tub or uh, the flood table completely with hydrogen and then just plant your plants where you want them I myself like to have my plants um, sort of in pots so I can move them about to get the best light basically, best possible. Uh, I say it takes about 10 minutes to fill up, so I'll just cut this out now and um, show you what happens when it gets to the level it's supposed to get to. It's flooded up, it's been about 10 minutes. As you can see, after 10 minutes, this will stay submerged for 13 minutes now until the timer goes off. See the water in there. So these will say 30 minutes 
and then after 30 minutes the pump will turn off and um, it mess with my, a bit of it will fly out of there and then the majority will just go straight back down to the pump so what I'm going to be doing is for the next couple of days I'm going to give these a slight little time lapse that one in the middle of the tomato I'm not expecting that to grow because I only transplanted that earlier hence why it's a little uh, wilted up but um, I'm going to time lapse these because the lettuce they seem to be growing really well, really quick and um, I've had a shower already the nutrients use are Vitalink Max A and B this is veg nutrients and then I'll switch into Bloom uh, when it needs to be you can see under there now the water flow um, drops down and drains in there which in turn oxygenates the water so it does this cycle like six times a day for a half hour every three hours so you can imagine that's quite a bit of good with aeration and they're actually even adding an air pump and an air stone so that's pretty much the system to show you and um, look out in the next couple of days for the time lapse and then you'll see it happen to be better than anyway so thanks for watching take care